Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a first impressions of a palette I got the other day. So I wanted this for a while, I just never wound up getting it. Um, but it's the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. So yeah, I just love the colours that are in it. I feel like I'll wear all of these, I'll use them freelance. So yeah, I'm going to get straight into this and I'm going to do a talk through today because I tried to record a first impressions by doing a voiceover and it just doesn't work the same. So today I'm going to be doing a pink kind of look and um, this is for a challenge so I will be adding some face paint so you'll probably see that at the end but the overall pink look should be quite wearable so if you want to see what I think of this palette because I haven't really used it at all really and um, stay tuned. Okay so the base I'm using today is as always the Helen E base. This is in the shade 1. Um, I usually use 2 but I can't find it anywhere so today I'm using 1. And first I'm going to underline my brow with an Oro 7 from Rebeluna. So it's just a really nice flat um, concealer brush. And I'm just gonna grab my mirror. So I'm making sure to buff this all the way out because I do plan on bringing my um, shadow like winged out and do like a pink blush kind of moment. So yeah, make sure if you're wearing out the blush, bring out your base. So just taking a look at this palette, I think what I'm, what I'm gonna do first is go in with Mogul. So it's kind of like this purpley kind of pink. I feel like this is like a Barney shade, like it's the color of Barney. So I'm gonna use that first. I haven't done a cup crease on my channel. The last look I did was kind of like a smoked out kind of flowy look. So I used like big fluffy brushes. But now for this look, I'm doing a cut crease and cut creases are kind of like my speciality on Instagram if you don't follow me on there. So for this look, I'm gonna use more smaller and precise brush because I'm obviously doing a cut crease. So this is my first time using the matte shade. So excited to see how this goes. They swatch very well. So I'm just gonna stamp this into place. So I just stamp it kind of into my crease and with the width of the brush, I use that to go above my crease. So then when I open my eye now, I'm gonna see the cut crease. That's kind of my method. Obviously you can take it higher if you want and especially if you have more hooded or deep set eyes, do go way above your crease. But I kind of have the space to just go slightly above it. So that's what I'm doing. And because I am winging out the shadow, I am gonna stencil in this shape that's more like winged out. So I'll just stamp this into shape like this. So it does look mad. I say this with all my cut creases. They look mad until they're done. So just bear with me and trust the process. So, so far what I'm getting from the matte is it's very, very pigmented, um, which is really nice. And it doesn't go on patchy. Sometimes I find with kind of like more pigmented and like intense colors, they go on patchy, but this is going on really, really nicely and really easy to kind of like blend out. Now I haven't properly blended it yet, but so far it's going good. So usually with colors like this, I like to grab a clean brush. So I'm just grabbing this Morphe M514 brush and I'm just ever so slightly just blurring it over the edge. So what this does is kind of create like a second shadow. This is especially good if you struggle with blending two colors. Just kind of like tickle over the edge to make a kind of blur. And then the next color will just blend in that bit easier. So now I'm taking a more kind of tapered blending brush and I am taking the shade Self Made. So it's this bright pink and I know for a fact these are gonna stain my eyes, uh, which I don't mind like all pink shadows do at the end of the day. And um, so I'm just taking that one there. So I'm kind of starting on the outer corner just to kind of get the grips of the shadow. and. Um, and just see how it applies and how pigmented it is. And so far, very, very pigmented. I'm blending in very nicely with that purple. So I'm just taking this like very, very gently in little, little circular motions. I like to spend a lot of time blending just to make sure that I have that like nice kind of transition. 
So if you're impatient, cut creases aren't for you. Then like the last method, I'm just taking whatever is left over on the brush and just kind of tickling the edge to make sort of fuller because from what I can see, there's nothing that will really, really be as pigmented as these two colors to blend this out. So it's gonna need that little bit like more help. Okay, so I'm gonna grab Pink Flea. So this shadow kind of has a kind of sheen to it, but I'm just gonna give it a go and try use it as my transition color. Um, so sometimes colors with like a little sheen to it don't look too bad, especially up here near the brow bone. So. So I'm just gonna take mine and mix it with pink flea. So as you can see there, the colors have blended nicely, but because the way I do it, there's obviously going to be fallout. So what I'm gonna do is do the exact same things again. So I'm grabbing self-made. I'm gonna leave the transition because that's just down. So I don't need to add, like rebuild that back up, but I am taking self-made and building that back up because we lost a bit when we added the transition color. So I do this with all my looks. This is how you get the intensity back. I don't just stop there. I make sure to build on that. And so far it's layering nicely. Sometimes I find pinks don't layer that well and get patchy and mucky, but these are laying nicely so far. Then what I'm gonna do is take Mogul again and exact same thing. Just stamp it along. You might need to blend this out a little bit, but it just gets the intensity back that was lost due to fallout or like sometimes over blending too. I think I'm happy with that blend. I'm just going to do the other eye and then we'll get to cut the crease. So now to cut the crease, I'm taking that Helen E base and I'm taking a Kaylee SK05. And usually I do clean off my like stencil, but I'm just going to go ahead and pat this on and see how it goes. So I like to pat down the product and you need like a full coverage kind of base or concealer or gel liner to do this. So by stamping the brush, I'm not mixing the concealer or the base with the shadow. So I'm not making like a light pink kind of cut crease. It's staying that kind of base color. And then when I come to the edge here, I grab the tip of it and just draw a line down. Then I'm grabbing Mogul again. I'm gonna drag that back in here. I am gonna do a pink kind of structured liner. So I'm only blending in the edge here to make sure there's no like harsh lines. Right, so it wouldn't be a me look without glitter. So I'm taking Inglot Eyeshadow Keeper, which is very similar to the NYX Glitter Glue. And I'm just gonna take the teeniest bit of that and pat it on my cut crease. Make sure to get right to the edge too. And then I just tap the edge so I don't cover too much of the little blend that I have going on. So now I'm just taking this MAC brush. It's just a nice brush for applying glitter. It's flat, but it's fluffy, so it disperses the glitter very nicely. So I'm just putting a bit of the glitter onto the palette and dispersing it through the brush hairs. And then with a light hand, I'm just going to pat that on. So I'm just using 53 Body Sparkles from Inglot, which is a nice kind of purpley pink um, glitter. Now for me in our corner, I've already tried this shadow, but I'm taking two, which is a nice kind of like, nice pink, and um, like a little baby pink. Um, with an Rebel in R24, I'm just packing that on my inner corner. This shadow is really, really nice. And then I'm gonna bring that onto my lid because I actually really like the look of it. So we're going all out pink today and I'm taking my pink super liner. This is in the shade Scrunchy. It's a very bright neon pink, but we might as well go all out. So for these liners, I do have a little review coming up, but 
I prefer to use fix and spray in it. So I just take a cheap fix and spray from Superdrug and mix that into the lid and then mix that into the actual liner itself. This liner brush I'm taking is just a little liner from the craft store. It's just really, really tiny. So it's great for like graphic liner and stuff. But I just love it with this liner especially. So, and I want to draw it big enough so that you can actually see when I have lashes on. Because I tend to wear big lashes. So this look would be quite wearable without this pink liner. Obviously you can use black liner, you can use no liner, or you can use shadow to make your own liner. And then I'm gonna stop that um, liner right there where the shadow starts to blend in and grab my smudger brush and grab mogul and just blend that in. I'm actually gonna take a little bit of Calabasas, which I'll show you now, but it's like a dark burgundy color. Just to blend in that liner. And then I'll just grab a bit of self-made to make that kind of blend. So like we have an ombre kind of liner going on. So, so far so good. I'm going to do my lashes and everything and come back and do the bottom. But I really, really liked how those pinks layer. I work with pinks a lot and I do know that sometimes they're a lot of trouble to work with. I, I know these are going to stay in my eyes. I will let you know at the end if it did. I'll just leave a little text. Um, but they blend very, very, very nicely, I have to say. I have loads of other Morphe palettes and this specific formula is very good. So, excuse the mess of this box, I have liner all over it, but I'm taking the Rebelina Lash Collection and I'm taking the Style of Hannah, which are just nice, kind of fluttery, winged out lashes, which I feel like will be gorgeous with this look. Basically, I um, popped a little bit of that base underneath my eyes, and now I'm grabbing my OR27 and Mogul and just placing that as close to the lash line as possible and then i'm just going to grab an or 26 self-made and blend that out so nothing too crazy i'm going to take a little bit of fast line which is black just to deepen it up a little bit i just find that my waterline never gets as deep as the top even if i have a base down which is so annoying So that's just deepened it a little bit, which is what I kind of needed. And then obviously that coloured liner just looks out of place there. So what I'm going to do is, these aren't the best in the waterline, but I still use them. So I might be in shock for this, but I'm just grabbing a lip brush, so just a flat, small brush. Getting the tiniest bit of fix and spray. I want this product to practically still be dry going on my waterline because obviously water activates it and my eyes are obviously like naturally like watery so as dry as possible so for blush i'm going to be taking loads of my jcap blush mallow in cherry limeade so if you don't like blush kindly click away So I'm taking this right up my temples to act as kind of like a base for the eyeshadow. So this really is not for the faint hearted, but it's a fun kind of look to have on my channel. And I will be back to doing normal looks um, for my next post. I have something really nice planned, so. So I'm going to be taking Sexuality from the Morphe Pride palette on a Morphe M510 and start blending out that eyeshadow onto my temples and then ever so slightly bringing it down onto the cheeks now so 
that is the finished look there. As I said, not for the faint hearted, but it is for a um, challenge over on Instagram. So make sure you check out my Instagram for like a full product list. And I hope you all enjoyed. I just um, drew a few clouds on my face and stuck some stars on my cheeks um, for like freckles kind of. Um, so it's obviously Katie Miller inspired the eye. I just wanted to test out the shadows and so far so good. I'll let you know how it stains um, at the end of this video or my insert clip. Um, but I really do like it and I do plan on doing a more wearable look with it next time. But I just thought I'd film my first time using it. So I hope you all enjoyed. If you have any questions about anything I use or any requests for a future look, please let me know down in the comments. And thank you all for watching.